You know what I see here? If what you say uh, is anything to go by, it then means that uh, someone needs to be talking. If you say uh, uh, nothing like that is, has occurred, uh, no money missing. And no 15 are, billion as yeah. supported by the paper. Good. And the way you have also explained it is uh, uh, it, it will seem as if everything is transparent because now you, you, you made mention of a certain account and a certain bank and you say uh, all this can be traced to all of that, which makes it look uh, so easy. And if that is, why is it that uh, till this moment nothing towards that end has uh, come up? That's the same question I ask the question I ask myself, and that's why I'm here on this program. In things like this, nobody wants, people don't want to associate with me. I hear corruption, people run away. We can't keep running. Nigeria must change. That is the truth. If uh, we are not involved, we tell it a lie. That's the truth. We can give you papers to show. Yeah, we wrote the script. The story should not be too difficult to verify. Yeah, it's I mean, closed, so you call the bank. One would wonder why it is that the EFCC has kept him for that long then. Probably they're looking for truth, like I'm saying here. Probably they're asking to know the truth. Or maybe there'll be other something which we are not aware of. Please, let it be clear. This is based on the 15 billion. If there are other money missing, I don't know. We are not speaking for the NBC. We are speaking here on the basis of that 15 billion, which we know is the money held as guarantee. And that was done before the TSA. Cut over. Well, uh, just for the record, we did get across to the spokesperson of the EFCC, but they declined commenting on this matter. Uh, I think they said they're investigating this matter. But what's the implication? Because if uh, he's not released today, tomorrow, and he's charged to court, will it deteriorate or will anything stop? Two things will happen. The DSO will derail. Like I said, the international community are watching. They're already talking. They're already scared. Like I said, if you look at Broadcom, it's a US-based company. They've manufactured that. Now, typical Nigerian standard thing, you may change somebody or hold the person, it starts afresh. Take notes, look at it from all. It starts afresh. We start, let's look at it. Two years will go by. I'm sorry, I don't quite understand this. If you okay. say that, first of all, 15 billion Naira is already in the bank, as it were, as yes. guarantee for the setup companies. Yes. And you also say that you know the setup companies have taken loans, they've started a business, as it were. Yes. Uh, what exactly is going to change if you know if the leadership, for instance, changes? Okay. First, I'll take the setup. There are three parts of it, and I speak because I'm involved with the three sides. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not just the chairman of the SCB. We are the second largest cable company in Nigeria. I've been in this thing for over 30 years, so I mean, I'm also a broadcaster. What we change is this. As a timeline, there are actions NBC has to take, and nobody's taking that action as of today. There are funds, not just there are funds that are to read to all the operators, like ITS, which is NTA. The other way, the transmission company will be giving money to continue. Without the transmitting equipment, we can't, we can't even bring the bus. The bus will not work. There's aggregators who are aggregating your channels to put them on satellite and put them on the box. If they don't work, even if I bring my set-up bus, it will not work. So just understand that it's, it's a chain. So if one fails, the whole fails. That's one. Two, the, 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 timing, the, the timing of this problem has triggered things. If you look at today's shares, I was watching your TV, shares are dropping. It's the same way it works in businesses. Then thirdly, I've told that this thing has a timeline of four months. The loans we took or the banks took was four months. If made one month change, it will affect it. So there's a whole lot of problem that this is happening at this time. So if my advice would go to government or to those in authority, it's very simple. You cannot burn the house pushing a rat. That's my own principle. Because there are rats, there's no doubt. There are corruption in Nigeria. Nobody should come here and try to paint things nice. But we must be careful so that we don't paint every Nigeria a thief. We don't paint every government official a thief. We don't paint every person a thief and spoil our businesses. So my suggestion would be, why this is going on, it can be done in a very much civilized, I won't use the word civilized, but in a more sublime way that will not, you know, create panic. An investigation can be done. There may be other issues they have, which we you, and you... You, you know, <clears throat> the way you put it, uh, I think for STB man, yes. if, uh, because you've said if that is what it is, yes. what has been reported, yes. then this is the story, yes. uh, which looks good. Yes. Uh, what is your association doing to see that uh, your story uh, goes beyond what we're discussing now, so that it gets to those who are worried about what we think uh, it is. What we're trying to do is what I'm here. We are going to afford to educate people. Uh, from this week, we had hoped that by yesterday or by the weekend would have been released. So we gave time to government so that we don't also jump 
into something which we don't know. What I mean, jump and scot a little bit. From what we are seeing, what we are doing is one, we are mobilizing people. We are also reaching out to government and to EFCs to say, look, please look at the facts. We are willing to supply you facts and help you if you don't understand the dynamics. And I also think that one thing they can also do is to talk to CBN. So we are talking to people, both online, both on our radio station. Bear in mind, we are broadcasters. So we are using the opportunity to be able to encourage what we want to do and not to be seen not to be doing that. We don't know to be seen as those who are fighting against corruption. No, we support corruption. We support the fight against corruption. What we do not support is the manner in which it's being done, particularly in this matter. So we are taking the message out and we're telling people, as much as we are concerned, please, no 15 billion is missing per se. The 15 billion is with the bank as a guarantee. And when we need a guarantee, that money can be remitted back. That's simple. But the thing about it is that, I mean, since the DG was invited, he should have said this to the commission. So why haven't they gone to check? Or why is he not talking? Or why are they not talking to people about this? The DG, I don't know how EFC will work. I've not been there before. I hope I don't have to go there. But the way EFC works, that the phone is not there, you can't talk. We need to speak. And sometimes, because of the way Nigeria has gone so bad, immediately people hear corruption, people run away. That's what I've seen. And it's a shame. Hide, why, why, yeah, why that's why we're here. Don't you so. That is the truth. <clears throat> they should interview people from um, NBC and it will give them the facts. This is the fact as much as we're concerned. I would like to let Nigeria tell the truth. I want to plead with government, release the NBC director with the NBC DG. That will not help the matter. Investigation can go on. It's an alleged um, uh, whatever it is. That they can do, they are, they, are, they are experts in this kind of thing. If this is what you say it is, again, I go back and you, you can go to the bank and verify, and we're getting to see that over the weekend, it's still, very, it's still there with the ESC. It's still there, at least last night. And uh, being a player in that industry, do you smell some bit of politics? How has it been when it comes to, because this is almost uh, uh, one week. Know, uh, well, one week, and yeah. this is this has to do with deals, money, <laughs> uh, and a lot of bids that come into play in this industry. Do you smell politics? Yes, there's no doubt there's politics. I smell politics. Three will you remember when the DSO when they started licensing? One company I don't want to mention because the case is already in court didn't feel quite comfortable because, from my perspective as an industry player, I'm not standing brief for anybody. I feel you don't understand the business. When you be there, you know, when we hear business, people just jump into it. The guy jumped into it with some high information and found out that what he got is not what he was expecting and went to court. So that guy or that company had continued to write and petition. That's one group of person. Two, even within the set-top bus manufacturer, people who may have got less uh, may complain. You know how these things are. We're all different capacity. Three, people who want the job. Four, nobody believe. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been involved with MBCC <laughs> inception. Have, we have more than 50 licenses. Do you know that when we saw 34 billion naira, nobody believed NBC can have that account. Nobody, I, I'm not sure NBC account since it was created had seen 34 billion. I don't think so because it's not a business of that kind of, um, that license we pay 5 million naira. How much do you pay for a TV license? 25 million. So uh, how many TV licenses do we have in Nigeria? Barely few. So the, the point that there may be politics because there's always politics in everything in my company. There are people who want the job. There are people who don't like him. Or, in fact, the most important thing is the disruption he has brought to the industry. Emeka has brought disruption to this industry. That's TV amazing. will not be the way to be again. With what he's doing, from today we have only four, five uh, uh, free-to-air TV. By this day, we're going to have 200. We're going to have more jobs. Over 10 million jobs we created. There will be more, more, more production. So he's disrupted that system. And I know those who, don't, who are orthodox uh, or who, <laughs> who think that it's not different. Imagine when you come to NBC today, tomorrow you get a license. It's never done before. You come today, one week or two weeks, you get your license. I applied for a radio license. It took me 10 years to get one. But in this time, for those who have been there, you can ask. There are over 140 TV licenses, or over 70 have been released. People walk in, do your paperwork. In one, two weeks, you get your license. There are new TV stations, as you are aware today. In fact, the last one year, there are over 30, 40 that have been licensed. I know those who are watching TV know that they have applied for a TV license 20 years ago. No. So the man will create enemies for, him, for himself. So those are some of the issues. So what I pleaded, please, they should release him. 
whatever crime anybody has done. If there's even any mistake, it should be administrative. But I mean, if, what I sense, if there may be any uh, issue, maybe admi purely administrative issues, because even the TSA is an administrative issue. It's not a criminal offense. So you do believe that uh, <clears throat> he is a, he's a man of integrity? Yes. I've known in Mecca with all sense of respect. Like I said, I don't stand brief for them. I'm here just for the association. I've known in Mecca for, since he worked for multi-choice. I own a cable company, and he was the one who was in charge of licensing. He was very strict. Before he came to this place, I also knew him on private levels. And while he worked there, he's, for the first time during the DSO, before, you don't know what NBC does. We are, I'm also part of the contact team. He created a team. He brought everybody. He brought Bonn. He brought NUJ. He brought a cable operators of Nigeria. He brought everybody in the industry and put us together. So everything that is happening here, we are all aware. So it's not just me. Every of the association, Bonn, uh, NUJ, uh, cable operators of Nigeria, all those who are associated with broadcasting. So in other words, to help this case and help the nation in uh, uh, fighting corruption and making sure that those who are clean and not uh, treated otherwise, will this association be ready to testify or volunteer information in the course of the investigation. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm here. That's one of the, the first ways the volunteer that's this the fastest way is what I'm doing. I'm volunteering information to every Nigeria. As much as we are concerned. And this is based on what we know. If the other things we don't know, this is on this fifteen billion is there. Nothing more than that. I think that honestly <laughs> that may sound quite stupid or funny. America should be given an honor to have raised that thirty four billion. Not a, not a, not a, not a self time. That's what I think. Because we must encourage innovative people. Because this will frighten a lot of young people who want to take risk. Because that is innovation and the risk has taken to do that, that is bringing them all this kind of challenge. And you say if we miss this second opportunity now, who knows, it may be a longer time before if we If we miss the opportunity, time. what happens is, one, we're going to lose 15 billion. So take note, I told you, if you miss it, we'll lose 15 billion. We're going to lose over 1 million jobs that would have been created. Two, we're going to miss the money, over one trillion, that would have come from the licenses. If we miss it, anything to change thing now, we derail it. If not, we we delay it. And if you delay it, you will lose money. That is sure, banker. All right, uh, Sir Godfrey Ahabawa is the chairman, Association of Licensed Set-Top Box Manufacturers of Nigeria. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. And we did get across to the spokesperson of the commission. That's the EFCC, and they declined comment. Well, we'll flip over now uh, to have another look at the headlines with Victor Mathias. Victor. <laughs>